we've been referring to that land as our retirement fund. Rick Jorgensen and his sister have a lot of property off Route 1. In recent years, they started working with a potential buyer. Everything is developed except for that. So he was going to put in a nice development. But he says that fell through amid talks of a moratorium in town. We got so many people. More people voiced support for the pause during a PAC meeting in April. Concern ranged from an added demand for services to overcrowding and water runoff, but especially traffic. I already cannot take a left out of my own road during the summertime. If enacted, the retroactive measure would last until mid-October, so the town could further study this issue and potential changes. We do need time to reassess, and I think our town leaders are very much aware of that. The moratorium would apply to proposed subdivisions of 45 or more dwelling units. Well, I've got mixed feelings about it. Howard Hall is a builder and lives in Wells. He thinks about the housing shortage and Maine's set goals. There's no way we're going to make that shortfall in the time period that the state wants. Hall says the pause shouldn't be about making things harder and warns landowners in town to pay attention. If it goes through, their property could be worth maybe 50% or 75% or 40% as much as it's worth today. For Jorgensen, the damage is already done. The future sale of the land because of what Wells has done has narrowed the possibility of somebody being interested dramatically. Voting will be held next Tuesday. Already more than 100 absentee ballots have been cast. In Wilds, Melmire, CBS 13 News.